You don't want to be inside. Weather's looking good this yeah, week. You don't want to be inside playing exactly. this way daylight exactly. today. I actually text messaged his iPad and said, you better not be inside reading these messages. You better be outside playing today yes. because it was beautiful today. And tomorrow looks great and the rest of the week looking fantastic as well. Let's get right into it. We're going to start off with a look outside where the city's all lit up. You can see the a little bit of pink out there, of course, for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, October. We lighten up the city. We do it every year, and things are looking great tonight. You can see that rooftop there in Center City, and everything looks good. It's a little chilly. Definitely want the jacket if you're outside tonight, but let's take a look at Storm Scan 3, and you can see there's really nothing going on, certainly nothing negative in the forecast to talk about with high pressure in control. We've got very quiet conditions tonight and through the next few days. Today fell about five or six degrees below average. We hit our forecast high of 61 degrees, five degrees below the norm of 66. Our morning low was 42, six degrees below the average of 48 degrees. We were nowhere near any records though, just a slightly cooler than average day. Coming on the heels of some very warm days in October, we needed one day below the norm. Temperatures right now across the nation, it's chilly. Look at, look at Raleigh, 45 degrees in Raleigh right now, 48 in Boston. Cool 51 in Nashville, 55 in Atlanta, a little milder across the plains, still sitting in the 60s in Bismarck, 63 in Minneapolis, and 61 in Milwaukee. And some of that milder air is going to be heading our way over the next couple of days, but still a chilly night, especially across interior sections of South Jersey, where a frost advisory will go into effect at 1 a.m. and includes portions of Ocean, Burlington, Atlantic, and Cumberland counties. And again, this is away from the coast, interior sections of South Jersey, a lot of agriculture in this region. So frost is a big deal and there could be some patchy frost, although it's going to be upper 30. So frost will be patchy at best tonight. It's a slow warm up over the next few days. Our average high again, 66 today, well below average tomorrow, a little better. And then we start to warm back up again, mid 70s by Friday and Saturday. Talking quickly about daylight length because tonight 617, the sun went down. Once daylight saving time ends, look at this, November 5th, 4.53 will be our sunset time. By December 5th, 4.35. A little bit of a depressing graphic here. We're losing about two and a half minutes of daylight each day now as we head through October and toward November. For tonight, 44 degrees, clear sky. It is chilly again. Tomorrow, full day of sun, a little bit warmer. You're high around 70. Let's talk some college football for the weekend. We'll start off with the Temple game here in Philly on Saturday, taking on Army at noon. Beautiful weather, 69 degrees for that game. And if you're headed to my alma mater, Penn State University, taking on Michigan, 730 State College, 61 degrees, clear and crisp. Great football weather for those number two Nittany Lions. Your eyewitness weather seven day forecast looking great. Take a look at that stretch 70s with sunshine all through the rest of the week, all weekend. Now with the Eagles game on Monday, a little bit touch and go right now. There's a front coming through Monday Ooh. night, so we're going to have to see if it comes through overnight. We'll be fine, mm -hmm. but we have to keep an eye on the timing of that front. Leslie uh -huh. will be paying. Yes, 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 yes